Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. You know, if you're anything like me, you can't stand doing inlay. I just don't have the patience for it. And to make something that looks right, it takes a lot of time. Uh, it takes a lot of skill too. Uh, and I'm not talking about dots, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Just chuck a drill bit in the old drill press and boom, you're ready to go. No, what I'm talking about is what everybody always wants to have when they come to my shop and that's that trapezoid inlay that Gibson uses. Personally, I like the way a plain fretboard looks. I think it looks classy, but a lot of guys, oh, the other thing is I can't even see the face inlay, so I don't put it on my guitars. Um, but people seem to really like it. They think it, you know, I don't care, whatever. So how can you make inlay like that less of a chore and more uh, uh, consistent every time? Well, my good friend Kevin and I came up with a handful of jigs that uh, really have made life a lot easier. Um, the first one we did was actually for my beloved pin router and we're like, wow, this is great. It works every time. It's perfect. The problem is not everybody has a pin router. But you know what everybody does have or everybody has, well, what more people have than not is this, uh, this Dremel base that Stuart McDonald sells. Huh, I bet you we can make something work like this. So what we came up with was we pulled this uh, aluminum thing that their base comes with and we replaced it with this let me get this in the camera we replaced it with this uh, uh, piece of Lexan and as you'll notice here it has a brass bushing that is oversized and we built an oversized template Man, you can't really see it. We'll, we'll get a close-up picture of this. We built an oversized template that works perfectly with the Stuart McDonald trapezoid inlay. Now, the Stuart McDonald trapezoid inlay may or may not be vintage correct, but that's beside the point. One, it's easy to get. Two, it's available in um, actual mother of pearl, abalone, and pearloid. And three, it's fairly cost-effective. So we chose the Stuart McDonald stuff um, based on, on that criteria. The other neat thing is we thought, hey, if this actually works out, maybe we can sell it to Stu Mac. So uh, let's show you how it works. Okay, so here is the Stu Mac uh, Precision Router Base with our new uh, Lexan base. And as you can see, it has that brass bushing on it. And the brass bushing is oversized, obviously. Here is the template that we did and it is oversized too. And let me get a piece of the actual Stumac inlay so you can see just how oversized it is. See what I mean there? So what happens is this collar, it's hard to do this y'all, this collar rides on the inside of this edge here and when it's all said and done, you have a perfect slot for your Stumac trapezoid inlay. Now, you're gonna have to clean up the corners with a chisel or something. Um, let's actually do one. Okay, <clears throat> so I got a little scrap piece of fretboard material here. I got it double stick taped to my template and uh, I got the depth stop on my precision Dremel base thing here done. Let's. Uh, Let's give this a shot. Here we go. All right. Okay, so all we've done is use the, uh, the template to run the outline, a perimeter, and the inside of the piece. And as you can see, the, um, the inlay piece fits in. I mean, it's, it's right on the money. So, but because the cutter bit is round, you're gonna have to get into the corners here and tidy that up. You can use, um, you can use a chisel or you can use one of those cool X-Acto knife things. Oh yeah. Here we go. That guy'd probably work great. Um, 
So we've tried this a lot. It works great. You just kind of get in here and, you know, just kind of tidy up those edges and you got perfect inlay every time. So there you have it. One cool way to do trapezoid inlay that turns out perfect every time. We use some pre-existing Stuart McDonald equipment, the uh, precision router base with a new base and a bushing on the uh, bottom that is fit specifically for this template that we made. Mm. So um, I kind of felt like a pirate there. So this template's cool because uh, this one is actually made for specifically for a 24 and 3 quarter inch fretboard. Um, it's got a center line on it, so that's handy. And it's got all four of the uh, trapezoid inlay um, shapes. So you can, you can do this. You put this right on 24 and 3 quarter fretboard and be perfect every time. Don't have to move it around. Um, the reason we didn't put fret lines on here was we thought, well, hey, what if you wanted to do a 24 and 5 eighths fretboard? Or what if you wanted to do a 26 fretboard or 24 fretboard, whatever. So you're gonna have to move this around to get it exactly right if you're not using a 24 and 3 quarter inch fretboard. So um, what we're looking for here is to see if there's any interest in this product. We only made the one and I use it, works great. Um, maybe when we're at the NAMM show, we'll talk to Stu Mack and see if they're interested in it as well. But if you have any comments or if you'd like to uh, ask some questions, please let us know below or send us an email. Uh, if you appreciate content like this, please uh, consider subscribing. It really helps us out a lot. This is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Later. Pop those out with a chisel. You know, one other really cool thing about this is if you didn't want to use the actual block inlay, you could just do the outline and uh, fill that in with like a colored epoxy. That might be kind of cool too.